G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to I think part 5 of building my storage and cabinets for my hiking and camping gear as you've probably just seen I've put these ones up one of the reasons is I don't like the pine and the reason I haven't taken the pine tongue and groove down is I've got the soundproofing attached to the back of that so I've just put this straight over the uh, top of it so it matches the, pa uh, the main part here let's show you so there's the same wood here, same wood there the same is going to go on the back here and down at the other end which is what we're going to do today now I've got my original PowerPoint I installed or I made the extension cord to lead up to a double PowerPoint there so it's a double ended uh, extension cord now I've, I had that on tongue and groove so I'm about to take the tongue and groove off and put it on the same wood as this with a box on the back to protect, protect all the wiring my teeth in and then in the box below the actual shelf below this let's show you it'd be easier so this is where it is now I've taken all the rest off getting ready to do that and I'm going to take it down here I'm going to put another uh, bring a lead off that one and I'm going to bring it down the back and I'm going to fit two in here so technically it's like one of the power cords you'll get for your workshop you plug it in one end and it goes to a power point to another power point to another power point and that's all I'm doing here and for that one and below where I'm going to have the two doubles that's going to be for like the inverter here for the lights now I did finish off adjusting all the lights and the more I do the better <laughs> it's looking I personally think so let's have a look down there so I've got all the lights all the way down done I also finished off this sound uh, I can't remember what it's called now but it doesn't stop the noise it actually stops the echo so I've got that finished off along on this one over the other smaller one I've done the same here I've got all the lights finished all the way down and I've got one on the side there which I'm going to do the same over that end when uh, I've got all the woodwork finished I'm going to bring another one down so that will shine more light actually on the counter itself than the back and here you go where my backpacks are I've got a light in here and it lights that up pretty well in there so no fumbling around in the dark now I'm going to have bits of wood left from doing this here so I've got up to about here on the top shelf at the back with a soundproofing the small bits I've got I'm going to take as far down as I can with soundproofing on and as I get bits left over I'm going to do the same till that's complete do the same down the bottom if you haven't seen any of the channel yet or any of the actual build and also finish off the corner and the backs here but today is mainly about getting the wood up on the side there and getting the three power points all sorted out and so it looks the same as that just with power point down here that's the uh, remote to the lights up here I'll go in my pocket now these are the boxes that go on the back of the power points not really needed it's just one extra uh, bit of security for me so I know I've got something in there to protect the wires at the back so like I said earlier in another video I think if we get a rat or a mouse in there less chance of them getting to the main wires and I can also put wrap soundproofing around here just to reduce any noise coming from that section because that back wall there is where the granddaughter stays when she's here so it's every little bit of soundproofing I can do on these main areas I'm going to do just to bring that down whether it's 1% or 30 40% so here we go what's this size 62 millimeters by 102 so it's 62 by 102 
and looking at that that's probably be about 45 50 deep let's get this just to have a quick look yeah it's 45 deep down here and these have got the actual screw points in I don't know if you can see I'll try and zoom in and this is where come with screws but that's where these will screw in on the actual power socket on the power point this one does have the red letting you know it's turned on when you push it down and off when it's up so that'll be going on there attached on the woodwork over there the same as this one we've just done uh, no sorry the one that's on there I'm taking off and putting on the same as this wood but I'm going to actually put a box on the back of it just to protect it and then I'm going to fit the two like I said on the shelf below for the inverters and everything for the lights here and most of it if not all of it is only going to be low power so there's nothing to worry about there now I am trained in doing the plug top replacements and basically all I'm doing is making an extension cord I'm choosing these instead of the other extension cord ends and hence that's why I'm putting that on the back so any wiring is protected now I've got this piece which I measured and that's going to fit at the back here but down below I've guessed roughly where I'm going to be making the holes and this is where the main three support beams come down I put a third one in just for purely to give me something to screw when I put the actual main woodwork on over there so that's where the support beams are coming down uh, then these are the power points which are, like I said I have to re-measure them because that's just measuring that hole we need it a bit bigger so I'll just trace around there and because of the thickness of this the grips on top they're going to hold the wood nice and tight and I've done the same over on the one here on the smaller shelf where I'm going to put my camera gear so let's make a start draw the hole go outside cut it turn the power off and run the cable from that one uh, down below and then from that one below onto the next one go this is one we've got to cut so I'll drill four holes four holes and I'll get the jigsaw and just cut that out and then all I'm going to have to do is push that in and push the wires through and we've got points here where we're going to break it or oh, it's not break it actually they're on purpose you just push it out create the hole and bring a cable in there and then wire it up to the back of the power point. There we go. One, two, a little bit of a sand and then we'll try them out. There's a lot of sanding pads on. Here they are. Okay, 
that was a bit tight it's uh, bowed it a bit let's turn it around that way but when this goes in there's plenty of room for the cable the cords to be so that's going to be okay that one went in nice so this one like i said is going to be on the shelf below this main panel down the other end and this is going to be for the inverters so time to turn the power off to this uh, power point down below and then get the wiring all redone there you go unplugged it so there's no power going up to the power point up there anymore so I'll be safe I'll do it's been a light to point down there so I can see but that's where we're going to be the two power points are going to be in there Make sure they're tight. Take the plastic covers off where I've got to put the screws in. I think it'd be a pain. Just like there's a plastic. Come on. Now, let's tilt this down. I'll try to get the lights better when I'm editing. So. in place. Let's get the screw we need. Done. Done. Now you can see from the back I've wired this one in. Might just put a bit of a, 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 a bit of a screw there just to hold it, just uh, like a wedge, not actually screwing into the plastic, just between it. That's a bit loose. That one's nice and tight. So I wired that one in. I brought it down to this second one. So that's actually the third one. That's the second one, and this is going to go up to the one on top of the counter. To the first one which is going to go down to the mains power uh, outlet below there it is. there's a fascia make, make it look nice that's a nice 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 no mistake i've done the uh, little beam in the way there I've got to take the wiring around the back of it and then wire it back in So you there we are double another double there and that's going to be for the AC DC adapter which is to the lights
And there we go. My power points are working. I've got my lights going again. It's finished off. So now I can get some hooks. Oh. And hang my axes there. And there'll be two things off the counter, or off a shelf, and not in a drawer. They have their own place. I think. Should I hang him like that? So will that one fit work like that? Yep, there like that, or oh, just hanging like that. What do you think? Let me know. Now this edge here, as you can see, still open. I'm getting another piece of wood, which will go all the way top down to the bottom. And then that'll be all closed off and finish this end. That'll be nice and soundproofed. So I'm leaving that cable. It's, it's not too bad. If it ever gets in the way, I'll shorten it. But there's the two power points. And like I said earlier, we've got all the noise reduction stuff up here stop the echo I've got it over there I've got a few little bits of wood which will go out the back of that shelf with soundproofing on so I think the way it's going <coughs> I should be able to get this part the back I want to put some more let's get it up here where you can see a bracket up here and down I want to put three of those they're rated at uh, 90 kilograms which would be way more than enough three of those on here and then I'll use the same panel in as this but I'll actually put uh, a framework on the back with the soundproofing in between the framework which will cover most of that wall and then this counter will be complete the counter will down the bottom I've got to do the back of that and soundproof the back of the bottom one the big one and soundproof build the door for here panel in the back with soundproofing finish off the shoe rack down the bottom there at the back and the side and soundproof it and then put shelving on here I've got a bit of trim in there to do. I've got to do the complete back of that shelf to do. Panel on uh, soundproof. All that has to be panelled and soundproofed at the back there. So, still a bit to go, but made a lot of progress. I'm able to put some of my stuff away properly now. Now, this isn't going to be put away properly until I've finished panelling the back with this and soundproofing it in there. But once that's done, what's actually going on that shelf will be able to be put up there and it can stay up there. Because the only thing after that will be, uh, get it right, will be the uh, the doors. Uh, after everything else is done, that's when I'm going to move above the shelves. The uh, back bit of wall there above the shelf is going to be panelled and soundproofed. As I've said before, that wall there, especially that corner, is where the TV is in the lounge and the speakers on that TV are at the back so they actually hit in the corner here so it just amplifies so I have already noticed just with the little bit of soundproofing I've got in this room and the shelves up and that pack, the, my packs in the corner there it has taken some of the noise out of the room and you can notice it so I can only imagine what it's going to be like when I finish soundproofing it all So that's the end of episode 5. Now I'm guessing where the camera is because there's no screen here to see. But this is the end of episode 5. I'm quite happy with what I've got done so far. And as you can imagine there's going to be a few more updates coming along. 
I'm going to attempt to get at least one a fortnight out until this is complete. And then we'll have a complete look over once I've organised all my boxes and all my shelves and show you where I've got things and may give you an idea of a few things to come in videos. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and give the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.